I know that they have some serious questions about it. Um, you know, my challenge to them, and I'll be very straightforward about it, where were they when these things were being discussed in open hearings that we held over the last several months? And, you know, to show up in an email while that's one methodology of communicating, I'm not so sure that, you know, putting a face to it wouldn't have been a better approach. At least there would have been um, some dialogue at the early stages rather than hearing about it here the night we're about to vote on it. Um, it's, it's um, again, these are difficult times and I will tell you that I have watched the council in this town for about 27 years and I, being part of this one, I feel we're working very hard for the citizens in this town. And um, I, I just, I don't know what else we can do. We gave, gave a 2% raise to people this year. We didn't give them anything last year. The non-union associates in our school department got a raise last year. In the municipal side, they didn't get a raise. And how do you deal with that from a straight face point of view? If you're working with employees, you want them to feel good about what they do and what they do for the town. So, you know, I, I'm going to, I'm supporting the municipal budget and um, I, support, I support the process, I support the people who have delivered it to us, and I can tell you that I'm, uh, I don't roll over over what has been presented to us. I ask tough questions, I ask challenging questions, I keep good notes, I, you know, I challenge the chief of police about overtime and some of the decisions that were made about scheduling and about the, <laughs> about the purchase of a a police car, and uh, I, I, I want you to know that, that I think that we're doing our job as counselors, and um, I believe that this budget is an appropriate one given these times, and one that I think will continue to, to provide for a good solid infrastructure in Cape Elizabeth and to continue to uh, keep the investment we're all making here a good one. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Any other comments? Uh, yes, Jessica. Um, I, uh, I support much of what has been said. I think we have fabulous <clears throat> municipal employees, and I know some of them on a personal level. Um, and this is very difficult for me. Uh, I'm not going to support the municipal budget because I hear from citizens over the following issues, and they're looking at the fact that many of them being retired and senior that Social Security has not had a raise in two years. Um, state employees, not in four years. Our municipal employees last year did not get a raise, but that was the first time in 15 years that they did not. And with the rising costs of fuel um, and the, the poor uh, functioning of the stock market, um, this is affecting the retirement, uh, retirement incomes of many of our citizens. I also would like to point out that um, over 50% of the homes in Cape Elizabeth are assessed at under $300,000. So, and also uh, between, uh, uh, and also 77% of the revenue of the property tax revenue in Cape Elizabeth comes from homes assessed between one hundred and four hundred thousand dollars. So I'd like to just point out that people of middle and low income, uh, arguably these are um, are are probably least able to to um, digest any tax increase. And I know that ultimately taxes are have to go up now and then. Of course, they do from time to time, but we are still in this great recession. And I personally would like to see, for at least one more year, um, raises just not given, give, because of the reasons I've stated. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. Any other comments? Okay, the motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor of the motion? And those opposed? The motion carries five to two. Uh, Sarah's finance chair, would you be willing to uh, make a motion regarding item 73-2011? I move we approve the Cumberland County assessment for the fiscal year 2012 budget for the t a total of uh, 
nine, $992,047. Second. Thank you, Anne. The motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion, comments, questions? Okay, all those in favor of the motion? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Um, Sarah, I'll just keep turning to you if that's all right. I move we approve the local homestead exemption funds for fiscal year 2012 budget in the amount of 173000 A second. Thank you. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Motion carries unanimously. Uh, Sarah? Item 75, 2011. I move we approve the Community Service Special Funds budget um, for a total of $186,993. Okay. Motion's been made. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. Sarah? Uh, item 76, I move we approve the property tax levy limit um, as set forth in our packet uh, in accordance with Title 30-A MRSA Section 5721-A for a total of $5,539,079. Uh, I second. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion? Thank you. Item 77-2011. Jim. Um, I'd uh, ask the chair to ask the council to consider my request to be recused from the following item. Um, my wife is an employee of the school department, and um, I believe that, um, that uh, you know, I have a I have some relationship to this budget item in that way, and I would ask the council to consider my recusal. Uh, we, I believe we would need a motion then, and I move that the council accept Councillor Walsh, Walsh's request to recuse himself, although I think he uh, could be fair in making this decision. I think the appearance is such that he is wise to recuse himself. I second. Thank you. Motion's been made and seconded. Sarah. Um, I think given that we have no jurisdiction over individual line items in the budget and no say whatsoever in salary setting, uh, it's, un it's, it's, it's mm. unnecessary. Did you, Frank, did you have your hand up? No. no. Uh, Jim, I am just trying to remember, and maybe I'm putting you on the spot, but last year. I did. I asked you did, for a recusal. You did ask for a recusal? And did we honor that request? Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Okay. I, I just couldn't. Even though, even though Sarah had the exact same opinion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I mean, my Look, tendency. I, I think the, it's the appearance issue, which is what Ian has stated in no uncertain terms. I mean, that's, I, I just, I think it's clean to, you know, let the council make its decision. <laughs> okay. Did, and did somebody second your motion? I just, okay, thank you. Any further discussion? All, right, all those in, the, in favor of the motion? All right, motion carries. Okay, so item 77-2011, the school budget. Uh, Sarah, would you be willing to make a motion? Um, yes. Is the council okay if I take everything together? Uh, give I think the, that's... Give the total. Can you be specific, of, please? What I'd like to do is... is Make a, make a motion that includes all these items on the next couple of pages to just give the bottom line for the whole, whole total of the school budget. The ones numbered one through eight, you mean? Yeah. In our packet. I, Correct. I think that would be fine. Jessica, did you have a question about that? Yeah. Could you, just, could you just please, for the records, give the specific item numbers just so I'm not confused? Um, I don't understand what you mean. Item number 77. So it's on all item 77? I'm sorry. I'd like to take item number 77-2011 in its entirety under one motion. Apologize. Yeah, and those would be the sub numbers 1 right. through 8. On the it's just that when she said the next couple of pages. I'm sorry. Other... I was very unclear. <laughs> okay. No, fair enough. All right. Uh, so, sorry. I think you've gotten the green light for that. Okay. Uh, I move we approve the school budget for fiscal year 2012 as set forth in our packets. 
uh, subject to a public vote for a total of $21,124,690. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Jessica. <laughs> yes. I'm sure this will come as no surprise to most people here, but um, I, I will not be, feel I can support the school budget, and it's uh, because of raises, and I, it has to do with my general feeling about raises in this economy, although I would like to say how very, um, how very impressed I was and pleased at, at the uh, process this year and and I I just really feel as for the other reasons I've mentioned with having to do with our economy at large um, and the teachers in this last three year um, cycle had an aggregate close to 17 percent raise and so I I feel that again for the reasons I've already stated that we should hold a line on all raises this year thank you Jessica any other comments Sarah I'd like to just thank um, all the people who had to do with the school budget and worked incredibly hard to make it look so easy. Um, sitting here in front of us, John Christie, Mary Townsend, Ken Murphy, and Pauline, and in addition, um, all of the, the, the members of the district leadership team, um, and of course, all the faculty and staff who weighed in and uh, were so helpful. So thank you to all of you. It was a great year. Um, I think people felt that it was simple and straightforward and easy to understand and um, very, very fair. And thank you, of course, to the, to the teachers for taking, for agreeing to a um, three-year contract that enabled this budget to be what it is and for the, the impact on the taxes to be as low as it is. Anne. Um, I uh, will be supporting the school budget. I do so. Uh, unreservedly, I think this, the, uh, not only the process was good this year, but the result was good this year. A lot of times people, when they don't get the result they want, they say the process is bad, but I think both, both were good. It's not ideal. I mean, I'd love it for the citizens' sake, including my own sake as a property taxpayer, if we could have 0% on the entire budget, municipal, county, which went up, and we didn't get any say about that. Um, and uh, community services and school. But uh, I think the uh, school board, and in particular the superintendent, are to be commended for not just their process, but uh, their result. I think they and all the faculty and staff members deserve a lot of credit. And, and, and Pauline, she uh, is the one who answers a lot of my questions when I have questions. But I do sincerely want to thank you, and I, I speak as someone who has not been able to vote for the school budget the last couple of years, and I am happy to vote for it, and I think it is fiscally prudent and uh, a good deal. So I encourage people to go to the polls on May 10th and to vote whatever they think, but I will be voting for it. Thank you. Any other comments? I would just, Frank. I just want to um, emphasize um, Anne's point about May 10th, very important that as many people as possible participate in this vote. We have the opportunity to have our voices heard, and um, I think it's important for us to take that, take that opportunity. And, and I likewise want to echo the comments of my fellow counselors. I really appreciate the incredible amount of hard work that went into this budget process from the, the school board members, the school superintendent, all the members of the district leadership team. You are to really be commended. Thank you uh, uh, for, uh, for on my behalf as a, a member of the council as well as a citizen, uh, it's greatly appreciated. Um, oh, Caitlin. Sorry. Well, I don't want to be the only one up here to say <laughs> thank you, so thank you to all of you as well. Okay. Does everybody have their say? All right. Uh, all those in favor of the motion? And those opposed? Okay, the motion does carry. Thank you. We are now up to uh, 78, thank you, item 78-2011. Uh, Sarah, can I turn it back to you for a motion? Sorry, I haven't gotten this far. Um, I move that... Um, 
Should I, do I have to legally read this? Move the overall adoption of the budget as presented. I move that we adopt the overall.